Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a Python IEEE project which is entitled as Brain Stroke Detection System Based on CT Images Using Deep Learning, which is an announcement of IEEE based paper title Innovations in Stroke Identification, a machine learning based diagnostic model using neuroimages, which is an IEEE 2024 journal paper. Before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So, we all know that the strokes are caused in the brains. So, the, if there is some clot in the brain or if the blood supply to the brain blood supply to the brain is blocked means this stroke will occur or if the blood vessel in the brain burst means this brain stroke will occur so this brain stroke is the major cause of the death all over the world it is making around 6.2 million deaths annually so the people affected by the brain stroke may have the death or the whole body will will be disabled so the yearly detection of this brain stroke will help the patients to recover from their health or treat them yearly so that they will not be affected by this brain stroke which is a severe cause of the human death and also the disability of the whole human body so in this base paper the authors have found the scientific method of identifying the brain stroke detection and they have trained the model using by lstm by directional long short term memory to detect the strokes at the very early stage kindly note that we are not going to use the same model that is mentioned in the base paper so now let us see the enhancement from the base paper what we have done so we have implemented using two different models so first model is using cnn model architecture and other one is lstm architecture so now let us see the accuracy that we have achieved so first model the trade the cnn model architecture we have achieved training accuracy of 99 percentage and validation accuracy of 98 percentage the second model lstm model we have achieved training accuracy of 99 percentage and validation accuracy of 95 percentage so the two models that we have implemented so we can come to know that cnn model is performing well than the lstm model so now let us see the abstract of the project so here you can see the proposed title and the IEEE abstract and our proposed abstract so as mentioned so we are going to make detect the brain stroke based on CT images using the deep learning so here we are going to develop using Python and the front end part contains HTML is JavaScript and the web framework that we have used is flask so here we are going to use two the deep learning model CNN and the LSTM so here you can see about the accuracy values that we have discussed and coming to the data set part so in the data set part we have totally 2501 CT images in that 1551 images or normal brain images and 950 images having the stroke condition so now let me show you the image data set part so here we have the normal these all the normal images data set that you are going to train them the system so as mentioned it is around 1551 images and the stroke part contains 950 images so these are the images of the stroke part so the two classes are available in it so those details are mentioned in the abstract part so this is the summary of the abstract and uh, coming to the existing system as mentioned we are going to consider the base paper as the existing one so as mentioned the base paper is using by lstm so those details are being mentioned here the existing part and coming to the disadvantages of the existing system you can see the list of disadvantages of the existing system and coming to the proposed system as mentioned we are going to use two different models separate models cnn and the lstm model so those details have been mentioned in the proposed system part and coming to the advantage of the proposed system you can see about the advantages of the proposed system has been listed out here 
and coming to the system architecture the input brain ct images data set will be given and the pre-processing and feature selection is made and we can select any of the model CNN model architecture or LSTM architecture the predicted result will be brain stroke or the normal one and finally we'll be showing the performance analysis the graph part here you can see the system and hardware requirements so as mentioned this project can be executed in windows 10 or 11 coding language used is python 3.10.9 and web framework is flask and front end part contain html css and javascript and this is the reference of the project so now let us see the execution of the project before execution make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirements file the exact version of the python and the library is installed in your system so now inside the source code location we have the innovations in stroke identification inside that we have the app.py file so we need to execute here so now let me type cmd in the address bar so automatically the command prompt window open with the exact location of it now type python app.py and click enter and kindly wait for a few minutes So now you can see this URL, just copy this URL, go to any of your browser and go to Google Chrome, paste it and click enter. So now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title. So now you can see this login menu, just click this login menu, it will be navigated to the login page. Kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project. So just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click the login button. So now you can see the login success message and click OK. So now it will be navigated to the preview part. So that we have the option of uploading the image and selecting the model that we have used here in or LSTM. Kindly note that here you can upload only the brain ct images in case if you are uploading some other images it will predict some random result of the two classes that we have given only so kindly note that you need to give only the brain ct images which is used in the training or testing or any images which is similar to that so just select the choose button now go to the project location so first let me show you with the test cases I have selected this image now and you can select CNN or LSTM first let me select with CNN and click submit so now you can see the prediction result is a stroke and the model that we have selected is CNN model so that has been displayed in the prediction part so now if you wanted to check with other case just click this preview menu again so it will be showing the navigate to the preview part so now let me select some other image and this time let me select the LSTM and then click submit so now you can see the prediction result is stroke or the model that we have selected is LSTM is being displayed in the prediction part so now let me go to the preview part again just select with some other image from the normal case and let me select the CNN model and then click submit so now you can see the pictured result is normal one and the model that we have selected is CNN so now let me go to the preview part again I'll just select some other image then select LSTM model and then click submit so now you can see the image and you can see the picture result is normal and the picture model is LSTM that we have selected. And let me go to the preview menu. This time I'll just use the uh, training data set images. So now let me go to the training data set images and let me select any of the image and let me select CN model and then click submit. And now you can see the predicted result is normal. The model that we have selected is CNN. Let me go to the preview part. Again, this time I'll just select a random image from the training data set part. And then click submit. So now you can see the predicted result is stroke and the model that is selected is CNN. So for the instance I have shown you with the both the cases of the normal and the stroke part. 
with both the models of the CNN and the LSTM. So in this way, you can check with the other cases, whether it's given in the test case or in the the, the data the data set that we have used in the training heap set images. So now let me move to the next part, performance analysis. So just click this performance analysis menu. It will be navigated to the performance analysis part. So here we will be seeing the performance analysis parameter for both CNN model and the LSTM model. So first let me show you the performance analysis for the CNN model that we have used. So here the performance analysis parameters used for this model or accuracy precision recall and f measure value so the accuracy of the first model that is cnn model is 0 0.988 precision value is 1.00 recall value 0 0.988 f measure value 0 0.988 and here you can see the confusion matrix for the cnn model so which contains the true unpredicted label of the both the normal and the stroke part cases coming to the next model performance analysis of the lstm the accuracy that we have achieved is 0 0.952 precision value 0 0.946 recall value 0 0.952 f measure value 0 0.952 and here you can see the confusion matrix of the lstm model which contains the true and predicted label of both the normal and the stroke cases so we have seen the performance analysis of both the model that we have used in this, in this part Finally, let me go to the chart part. Just click this chart menu. It will be navigated to the chart part. Kindly note that both the charts that you have shown here is a static chart only because as mentioned earlier, we have not used any database in the project. So we cannot show any variations in it. So this chart is a static chart. The first chart shows the accuracy score of the CNN and LSTM. So as mentioned, CNN accuracy score achieved 98 percentage and LSTM achieved 95 percent that is being depicted in the accuracy score chart the first chart the second chart contains uh, depicted the about the data set that we have used so which contains 60 percentage of the normal images and the 40 percentage of the stroke images that we have used in the data set part so that is being depicted in the second chart so this does not vary according to the input value that you're going to give so this is a static chart only so we have shown about the two charts accuracy chart and also the data set chart and this is about the chart part and let me log out from this part and um, this is all about the project brain stroke detection system based on ct images using deep learning and thank you for watching